Good morning everyone, Treasure Troller here from the partially mask wearing militant state of Michigan. So I have a question for you. Who likes to be first? Who likes to be first? You know, like first person to walk on the moon, first person to climb Mount Everest. It's 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 always good to be first, the first one ever, except in this case. <laughs> first person to ever be diagnosed with COVID, monkeypox, and HIV at the same time. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine going in there, Doc? I, 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 I feel a little bit under the weather and, and uh, you know, boy, I, 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 I'm kind of worried, you know. I, I uh, practice unprotected sex and I have multiple, multiple partners and, and and this monkey pox thing, I'm, I'm kind of worried, but I, I feel like I have the symptoms of COVID too. And so they go, oh, don't worry, we'll check you out. And they run some tests on them and the doctor comes back and, and uh, <laughs> he says, well, you're right. You're right. You, you got, uh, you got COVID-19 and you, you have monkey pox and he says, oh, man, thank God I was, uh, thank God anybody, it's like, no, no, you, you, you got that too. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't help it. It's just uh, kind of funny. Shouldn't make fun of people's health though. Uh, but it just, to me, the only thing about this is these are the same kind of people, the same kind of habits that are the ones that want to teach your kids how to pole dance and that are encouraging parents to get uh, their their children uh, their your, their children's uh, gender reassigned. It's, it's just people that practice very uh, risky habits are the ones that you're taking advice from. Probably not a good idea. So the next thing is Jason Whitlock last night. And he had a, I'll provide his link for his show. I guess before I start that I I had a, a comment someone that had, had put in Jimmy Dore. It was it was from the uh, I think from the uh, Adventures with Purpose maybe I'm not sure, but they had said because I had made a comment about uh, watching some shows. So and they put down Jimmy Dore. I do watch Jimmy Dore, so I thought I'd list some of the some of the things that I do watch. Uh, I do watch Jimmy Dore. I catch a lot of his show driving to work when he's uh, when he's on kind of earlier. Uh, I I listen to the Hard Bastard. I especially like when he goes over the videos. Uh, he his show is about six hours long. I can't I can't do the whole thing. I watch Jason Whitlock quite often. I feel like I'm at a I'm at a Promise Keepers meeting as well when I you know, when I'm listening to him. So sometimes it's a little bit hard. Uh, I watch a little bit of st uh, Stick Sex and Hammer. Uh, let's see. Oh Crowder. I think those are the those are the primary ones that I listen to or watch, and then uh, 
every now and then, Allison Morrow, Lauren Southern has something uh, pretty decent. Oh, and the other thing, too, is the one that I do catch, especially on Sunday nights, is Viva Barnes Law. Uh, if you're not watching Viva Barnes, you're missing out on a great... You're, you should subscribe to them. Uh, he does he does an outstanding job on his individuals, and then they have a, a sidebar with a guest during the week. They interview, and then Sundays they have... Um, a two-hour kind of recapping the week. So that's about <coughs> that's about all I can think of right now. So getting back to the Jason Whitlock story, he was talking about Rachel Richard Richardson, who is a volleyball player for Duke. And this must have happened during the weekend. But they were playing at Brigham Young University, and according to Rachel Richardson, she was hearing a lot of racial slurs, one, in, one specifically from the crowd at BYU. And then once she sort of made this public, well, then all the sort of the, the Me Too's and the the women um, are never wrong kind of thing uh, individuals you know, jumped on board Le LeBron James boy he was right there uh, during the segment Stephen A. Smith he got on his TV show and really really went off on it and Jason had a couple of guests on his show one I don't know what her last name is offhand her first name is Shamika and she had a great take on it she she lives in the area of uh, of Duke University, and so she says, you know, I eat at the same restaurant you eat at. Uh, she's very familiar with them. I find it hard to believe. I mean, personally, that it would happen at BYU. There's probably some other schools I could imagine this happening at. Brigham Young just doesn't really seem to be one that would would be that way but they were talking about how you know if, the, if it was really happening they just should have said hey look we're not going to serve another uh, another volleyball until something is done about this I brought it to somebody's attention it was never brought to anybody's attention and then after the game is when it with the press it sort of blew up and like I said then Stephen A and the rest of the people jumped on board with the with the race hate stuff and they were all, the one thing is they were wondering why didn't anybody say anything point this individual out and I found something on I found something on YouTube last night that is really kind of interesting. And it is from a Wimbledon match. Now, I think Wimbledon was over I think I thought Wimbledon was played in June. But maybe just because it just happened now the the lawsuit is why it was brought up. And I know I'm going to get his, his last name wrong, but it's Nick Kriakos or Krios. Uh, I'll provide the link of the story in as well. But he was in his tennis match, and he was hollering at the referee, but well, why have it, haven't you thrown this woman out? She's been, uh, apparently has sort of been harassing him the whole time, or saying stuff. He's, he said... Uh, which one is it? And he kind of points, I guess, and he says she's the one that's had about 700 drinks. And so apparently, you know, she was on the news, she was on the TV screen. They have a picture of her, at least, uh, from this. And 
she must have got tossed out of Wimbledon. She was very, very embarrassed. Uh, apparently, she hadn't been drinking, whatever. And now she's suing him. She's suing him for defaming her and causing her, you know, mental pain and anguish or whatever. So can you imagine what would have happened? Now, this was probably locally televised. Maybe BYU has a, a, a BYU net. Yes, they do have a BYU sports network. So if anything, it was probably regionally broadcast. Now, can you imagine what would have happened had they picked this individual out? Had Rachel Richardson had said, it's that guy up there in the BYU shirt with the MAGA hat on that's hollering at me. Or just pointing him out. Forget the MAGA hat for a minute. But can you imagine what would have happened had they taken him out? Do you think ESPN and the rest of them would have caught on to this? Do you think CNN and MSNBC? They would have had him, probably a guy that before it was over, he attended uh, the January 6th. Uh, he was in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. He's a Republican, which probably most Mormons are anyways. You know, he's a MAGA supporter. They would have turned this guy into uh, basically only the second biggest racist to to uh, uh, Donald Trump because he's more racist than Hitler. So they would have turned his life upside down. And, and then what would have happened if, well, it turned out not to be him. So... I thought it was rather interesting that they were kind of talking about on Jason Whitlock how uh, they just should have thrown the guy out and then in Wimbledon they throw somebody out and it turns out to be the wrong person. So that's about it. I'll provide the Jason Whitlock link and the this was on Sky News, that, that Australian network, about the tennis player. And you've already seen the, uh, the headline. This, I found this on the Gateway Pundit, the article on the Gateway Pundit, of probably the most unlucky bastard on the planet at this point in time. So... That's all for today. This is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.